Now this may sound silly, but we want to make sure we're opening the right programs when we double click on an icon. You can see here in my folder here, it says villaexterior.png, villainside.jpg, villalights.jpg, so on and so forth. We have different extensions. The PNG is an extension. JPG is an extension. Move to the left a little bit, we have a PSD here. That's an extension. The extension is the three-letter instruction, if you will, to the computer that says, hey, open this file using this program. By default, or the way it's automatically set up in the COM department computer labs, is that when you double click on a .jpg or a JPEG file, I'll double click on that, it opens up in preview. Preview up here is the top left, uh, and preview is maybe the most useless program we have. Uh, I never use it in COM317. You will not ever use it. In my class, anyway. I can't speak for the other instructors, but in my class, we will never use preview. So, if you double click on something and it looks like this, you need to close it. You can also tell as if it says preview in the top left corner. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And instead, we have a couple of options. One is to right click or control click on an icon and come down to open with and choose Adobe Photoshop. However, we need to set the defaults so that it always opens in Photoshop, not just one time. Instead, while, you're, while you have a file selected, clicking on it once, come on up to File and Get Info. You can also hit Command-I. So Get Info, and underneath, about midway through the menus here, we have an Open With twirl down, and you can tell the computer to open this using Adobe Photoshop forevermore. Use this application to open all documents like this. Change all. Press that button. It'll ask you, are you sure? And the answer is yes. Hit continue. And now, we can close that, and if I double click on any of these other JPEGs, say like this Villa Rainbow, it opens up in Photoshop. On the top left, you can see Photoshop is there, and you can see the window looks different. Unlike Preview, we have all these tools on the left-hand side, um, we're going to have all these panel pop-up windows on the right. We have some tool controls up on the top. So Photoshop looks very different, but it's very easy to miss this one step at the start of the semester. And, you know, frankly, we talk fast and there's a lot of things to, a lot of things to consider. So we want to do this for all of the extensions that you use. For example, if I close that for a second, You'll see here this top file is a .png. Now, PNG is also a picture file. And if I double click on that, oop, it's going to say that I they can't open it from an unidentified developer. It's set to open in, oh, I don't know, preview or whatever. I mean, it should open in, well, Photoshop. So I'm going to change it that way. I'm going to actually right click on it. Whoops, no. Uh, oh, yeah, here. And I've get info. And you can do right-click, Command-I, or come on up to File and Get Info. They all get you to the same place. But here again, where it says Open With, I'm going to change it from Preview to Adobe Photoshop, Change All, click Continue, and from this point forward, all PNG files should open up in Photoshop. So you want to do this pretty much any time you see Preview. Preview, I'm not going to say preview is the devil, but we never use it. And if your window, if you're not seeing the tools that we're talking about, chances are you're in preview. So let's check that and have a good semester. By the way, a couple other things you can do. With an icon selected here, this is a small little thumbnail. You can hit your space bar to get a quick preview. I can't believe I'm using that word, but I'm using preview in a different context. So... Spacebar gets you a larger preview. You can also use your up arrows to scroll through all of the pictures in the same folder. I'm going to go to the left here and I'm going to, I'm now in the larger folder and I can use my up and down arrows to go through all the different things in that folder. 
and you'll see they adjust according to size also. Anyway, spacebar is your friend. We use it for a lot of things, and that can save you a lot of time. All right, we'll talk about browsing a little bit in the next video.